In this particular lecture, let's try to go ahead and understand the project structure of a React application and let's also learn how a React app actually functions. So a React app is called as a single page application and let's learn why exactly React applications are single page applications. So if you take a look at the project here, in the entire project, we have only one HTML file here called as index.html, which is an HTML page. And apart from this, there's no HTML page at all. And this is why exactly it's said that React is a single page application. So let's open up this index.html and let's have a look at what exactly is in there. So if you scroll down a little bit, you will be able to find that inside the body tag, we only have one root element in there. So we only have one root and that to this root is entirely empty and there's absolutely no code in there at all. Uh, yes, we do have some code here in the head tag, but apart from that, there's no code at all in this particular body tag. Now the question is, if there's absolutely no code in the body tag here, how exactly are we getting this particular web page over here rendered? And this actually happens because in React, we do not go ahead and manually create those HTML elements. Instead, React actually creates those specific elements for us. So in order to understand this, that is how exactly React kind of fills up this empty div, uh, let's go into the source folder. So if you go to the source folder here, and if you go to this file, which is main.jsx, uh, this is actually the starting point of your application. So if you go in there, you will be able to see that over here, what we have done is that we have created a root and over here we have used the document dot get element by id selector so if you're already familiar with javascript in javascript whenever you have to sort of select an html element on an html page in that particular case you use this particular statement so this is actually a dom method which allows us to select an element and here what exactly we have done, we have selected this div with an id root. So if you take a look at this right here, it has simply selected that particular root. And after selecting this particular root element, React actually has used a render method and it has rendered this particular app component in there. Now what exactly is this app component which we have here? So if you take a look at this app, this app is actually imported from dot slash app, which is this file. So what you could do is you could press command or control and click on this one and it will automatically open up this app dot JSX file right here. So if you take a look at this app dot JSX file right here, here we already have a predefined component, which is created by react. And here this particular component, is returning something which kind of looks like an HTML code, but this code right here is called as JSX. And if you take a look at this code right here, you will be able to understand that this is the code which is actually responsible for powering up this web page right here. So in here we have the Vite logo, we have the React JS logo, uh, we again have this Vite plus React which is written right here. So if you change this thing to React and if you save this, if you go back here, it changes to that particular thing. So uh, this is what exactly is powering up your React web page. Now, in order to keep things simple here, uh, let's actually do a thing where we delete everything in here except for this div element which we have. And now let's save this and go back to the web page. And now, as you can see, our web page is completely empty. So now let's go ahead and instead of that, uh, let's say hello world save this and if we go back here now as you can see hello world is actually rendered on that particular web page now in order to make things even more simpler let's actually delete this code and let's also delete the rest of the code which is importing css from here so let's delete that we also don't need these imports either so let's delete everything and let's have a simple component right here and if you take a look at this we have hello world now there's still some CSS styling in there. And in order to get rid of that styling, I will also delete this index.css file. Let's also delete this app.css file as well. After deleting that, if you actually go back here and hit refresh, now this will give you an error. And that's because we are actually importing a file which has already been deleted. 
So if you go inside the main.jsx, here we have imported this index.css. So let's delete that as well. And now if you go back, now you have plain simple hello world printed up over here. Now the way in which this React application works is that you have this basic index.html file which only has one single root element. Now instead of manually adding some HTML elements in there, this particular root element is controlled by this main.jsx react file. And what this file does is that it has simply selected this particular root element using the get element by id method. So it has gotten the element by id. So it gets the element whose id is root, which is nothing but this element. Now after getting this element, we have actually rendered a react component in there, which is the app component. Now this app component is the main component of your application. And we are going to be learning about components soon. So if you want to take a look at this component, this component is imported from this app file, which is nothing but this file right here. And we have simplified this file to only return a simple div with a class name app, which contains hello world on our homepage. So right now, if you right click on this one and click on inspect, you will be able to find that we have the body tag here. Then we have this div id equals root, which is nothing but this particular div which we have in the index page. And inside that particular div, we have another div rendered in there, which is nothing but this main component and it already has a class name app. So as you can see, this class name over here gets translated to class equals app. And here we have our hello world over there. And now if I change this thing to there, save this, now as you can see, the change is reflected over here and over here. So this is how this React application works. Now let's take a look at the rest of the files which we have here. So let's start from the very bottom. So we have this particular Vite configuration file which is used for running up this particular Vite app. Then we have the package.json file. And this package.json file contains all the project dependencies. So dependencies are nothing but they are sort of like the modules which our application is currently running. So it says that we are running React uh, with the version 18.2.0. We are also running React DOM as well. And along with the dependencies here, we will also have the scripts which we use to run our application. So for example, uh, while running this application, we type in npm run dev and that dev command is nothing but this command right here. So when we say npm run dev, it basically executes this weed command for us and it runs our project. After that, we have this package log.json. You could ignore that file. Then we have the index.html page and this is our single page for the application. Then we have our git ignore file, which is nothing but the file which contains all the files which needs to be ignored whenever we will be pushing our code to the git repository. Then we have the main.jsx, which is the main file, which actually selects the root element from our HTML page and renders a React component in it. After that, we have this app.js file, which is our main app, which is actually being rendered over here. And then if you go to the assets folder, it simply contains this particular SVG image, which was predefined. So you could even delete this assets folder as well, and it should cause no problem. So let's move that to trash. After that, we have this public folder, which again contains this simple SVG file, which is an SVG file for, I guess, wheat logo. So you could also get rid of that as well. And after that, now there's only one folder remaining, which we have not discussed yet. And that is the node modules folder. And this node module actually contains all the modules which we currently use for running our application. So these are all the modules which we currently require to run our app. And you don't need to be bothered with all the contents of this particular package. So I hope this kind of gives you an idea about the project structure of our React application and also the significance of different files which we have here. And also I hope that you have understood how a React application actually functions. So in this lecture, we have not dived deeper into what exactly this is, which is a component. So in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn what exactly are components in React and how we could create our very first React component. So let's learn about that in the next one.